how to make a walking skeleton automata. You will need this paper, cork, three zip ties that are four inches long, two small craft sticks. They can be coffee stir sticks. These are just small craft sticks. They will be cut to 55 millimeters long. A paper clip, small paper clip. Pliers for bending the wire. Glue. I like extreme glue because it dries fast and is very sticky. And some scissors. First step, you will drill a hole at the end of the two craft sticks. Two millimeters in diameter or a five sixty-fourths inch hole into the end. Be careful when you drill it so it doesn't crack the stick. Next, you will straighten a paper clip. Just straighten it out. Once you get it straightened, you're going to use the template to make the crankshaft. If you set your pipe uh, paper clip on the template, use your pliers to grab next to where you want to bend it, like so, and then bend. We want to start at this end because the handle is not as important how long it is. Make a nice bend. Put it in the next spot. Hold the wire. You can hold it down on the paper and bend it. Check it. Go to the next spot. Hold it down on the paper. Bend it, go to the next spot, holding your pliers right at the joint where you want to bend it. Go to the next spot, holding your pliers, bend it. Go to the next spot, right there on the angle. bend it and it should follow that pattern as closely as possible. You might need to play with it to work out any little kinks so it looks like that. Next step, you're going to bend the cable tie. One, just we're only bending one of the cable ties and we'll put it so that it lines up with the pattern, the template. This you can do with your hands. Line it up, find the spot where it needs to bend, and just crease it till it holds that shape. Then go to the next spot, hold it, crease it in the opposite direction so it should resemble the pattern on the paper. Next step is to cut out and roll this card tab. It is 10 millimeters by 25 millimeters. So after you've cut it out, you just roll it up. into kind of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll be rolling it around the cable tie that you just made. Then you unroll it. Take some glue. Put 
with the glue on the end of that card tab and put it around the cable tie. It should be snug, so you might have to play with it to get it snug and hold it for a minute or two until it dries or however long your glue takes to dry. You want it to have a nice collar on that. We will be using it to glue it to the back of the skeleton like this. So it should look like that. The next step is to cut out the body from this sheet. You'll notice it has tabs. Those will actually wrap around the wire and come up the other side, the back side of the skeleton to give it strength and help it attach to the crankshaft. The wire that you bent is the crankshaft. So take a minute, you can pause the video, cut out the skeleton. I left a little bit of space. I didn't cut in around and close to the bone to give it a little bit more support there. I also left a little bit of support around the neck because it would be very wobbly if you cut really close. I also didn't cut real close on the legs so that they also would be stronger. And I didn't cut out the fingers. You can, but you don't have to. You can leave however much white space you need, but they be need to be able to move. Then, after you cut it all out, you are going to be folding it, pre-creasing it at the hips, at the knees, at the ankle, and at the toes. Make the tab come around the toes so that they will look like that. So those will be our pre-creased pieces. The next step is to glue the skeleton to the crankshaft. This is what will make the feet go up and down as it rotates and one foot is connected to one tab, one is connected to the other of the crankshaft. So you can straighten them out. Take your glue, put the glue on the tabs So I have glued from where the toes are all the way to the end of each tab. And I will take one tab and put it around this part of the crankshaft and glue it up the leg. I'll take the other tab, put it around this part of the crankshaft and glue it up the leg. If they don't match exactly, you can kind of squish them around or you can cut them. And it should look like that. Each foot glued to one of the tabs of the crank. Now we are going to flip it over, take the support that is made from the zip tie and that uh, little card tab. We're going to put a bunch of glue on that and it will be glued to the middle of the bottom of the skeleton in this direction. It helps it support 
and push it a little bit away from the cork. Let's set that side to dry. Next, you're going to take your cork and your two craft sticks and a zip tie. The zip tie has uh, two ends, one that will face it like it's the nose poking out. You're going to gently stick the end through there only till it clicks one time. If you push too far, it won't fit on the cork. So you just want to push it just enough to get it to stick. Go ahead and do that with both of them. It's like it's sticking its tongue out. Just till it clicks. Once your glue is dry, you are ready to assemble. So you're going to take your stick and put one through each hole. Like so. Then we're going to use the cable ties. I like to squish it and put the one going this direction and one going this direction. Now you don't want to uh, tighten them yet. We want to slide in a stick on each side. And you can push down to get the stick to go in. If it falls off, you can always put it back on again, the wire. Get the sticks to go in. last piece to get to go in is the other zip tie. Now you want to make sure that your sticks are high enough that the legs, the feet, don't hit the cork. So this is where the adjustments come in. We're going to move the cable ties up and check for movement. Now mine is a little close, so I'm gonna scoot the sticks a little higher. We wanna keep the zip tie in the back in the center and adjust it until it can move without hitting the cork, that each foot should not hit the cork. They can get close, but they don't, you don't want them to hit but you don't want them so high up that it they don't have the support of the other back zip tie or the sticks. You can adjust the tension on the back. Then the last step is to tighten the zip ties till they hold it in place. You can just grab and pull a little bit at a time until the zip ties tighten as far as they're gonna go. The location doesn't really matter. It's tight no matter which way it is. All right, so we've got our feet far enough up from the cork that they don't hit. Got our zip tie, might need to move over just a little bit so it can be in the middle. There we go. Now, the last part is the crank. If you have your foot down, you will be taking your pliers and moving your crank up. And then about halfway, we'll straighten it out to go out. So we did up and then out. I'll put it against the white. Maybe that'll make it easier to see. And then you can test it. Make sure he can run. 
If anything catches, you can just bend the wire to make it so it won't catch and you have your running skeleton. And you can run backwards or forwards. Then you can take your scissors and cut off the excess zip ties. Congratulations, you have a running skeleton.